but I did receive an email today that I, I think I'd like to clarify, clarify for the board. And it was from a board member, and, and it's in regard to the manifest. And there seems to be some confusion about what the manifest is, and I would like to correct it in the public record. And the email says, um, the final detail was that this is the first agenda I have ever seen that has reviewed the manifest without the manifest attached for review. We usually get our packets the latest by Friday, most of them electronically by Thursdays, which has up to five days to review the package, including the manifest, so we can sign off on the manifest. Since the manifest comes from the superintendent's office, then the superintendent is responsible for not providing the manifest data to the board in accordance with policy BEDB. That, and then it quotes policy BEDB. And I think it's really important since that's out there and I will not respond to emails like this through email. I just think it's not taking the high road. <clears throat> it's an inaccurate uh, email and I'd like Karen to just remind the board how the manifest is distributed. Typically, the manifest is brought to a board meeting with a cover sheet um, once the board member has come to our office to review all of the bills. So the manifest is actually the pile of bills that we pay for the two-week period prior to the board meeting. Um, that has never been included in the packet. What is included in the packet sometimes under that heading would be an expenditure report, but again, that's only included at the first meeting of the month, not the second meeting of the month. So there really was nothing missing from the packet. Madam Chair? Yes, Mr. Wilson. I'd just like to go on uh, public record to say that I'm actually the person that sent that email. And apparently from uh, Dr. Littlefield's explanation and Karen's explanation that I've made a mistake. And I'd like to apologize to them for making that mistake. Um, I'm always learning. And um, so obviously I've learned something new here, which is good. Um, I was basically surprised by kind of the whole agenda on this meeting from our last... Um, if you're uh, administering a pol uh, an apology, that's fine, but we're not getting into a discussion about surprises. Well, no, I was just... I you're was out just, of order. No, I'm not out of order. You're out of order. The chair says you're out of order. Oh, okay. That's the right of the chair to say someone is out of order. If you're apologizing for a mistake, that's fine. We're not getting into a debate about the agenda. I was just going to complete An my apology point. without a with a but is not an apology. Are you was apologizing no to the superintendent and Karen? There was if no not, but. you're out of order. There was no but in my apology. We have a five minute recess. <laughs> and yes, I have the right to call a five minute recess. I'm calling. <coughs> yes, Mr. Paul. Before we move on to the high school business, I would like a little clarification on the rulings of out of order. Um, they seem to be inconsistent, and it seems to be that descending opinions are being ruled out of order. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's causing some stress on this board. Could you please speak to why you're, why you're choosing to call people out of order um, when clearly they're not? In, in my opinion, as the chair of the Hosted School Board, that was out of order. He was apologizing. If you're speaking to the one specifically tonight, an apology is an apology. We were not, he did not ask to discuss anything else. He asked to be recognized by the chair to apologize. When you're recognized by the chair, you stick to what you asked for. <coughs> I'm not me. having a discussion about this. We are. Excuse me, Madam Chair, but I think we need to have discussion on this board. Mr. Liscars did not ask to be recognized to apologize. Mr. Liscars asked for the floor. He then apologized and went on to talk about the agenda which was the issue that he, he wanted to talk about. And he is in no way out of order. And you can say that it's your opinion that he's out of order, but you, you provide no rules or practice for him being out of order other than you indiscriminately saying he's out of order as you did to me in our last meeting. Discriminate. So could you please tell us what it's based on? I did. You don't like it. I'm sorry that you don't like what I said, but I am the chair and I believe he was out of order. 
You provided no Mr. reason Liskars. or rules. Mr. Liskars. Just on that subject, uh, Mr. Pearl makes a, a great point that I didn't ask to be recognized to make an apology. I, I asked to be recognized to have the floor. In that, I was apologizing to Dr. Littlefield um, for an obvious mistake I had made. And, um, and then you continued by blasting me for an agenda you don't agree with. I'm sorry you I'm don't so, agree. Ma'am, I'm sorry I didn't blast you for anything. Um, we are here this evening as a Hooksit School Board to discuss our high school issues. Are we going to discuss for 26 minutes that you don't like the agenda? I'm, I'm asking you. Um, Madam that's Chair. a yes or no question. Well, I have more than a yes or no answer. I want to, that's a yes or no question. Are we going to do that and waste these good people's time, or are we going to move on to what we need to be discussing, which is the future of our high school students? Ma'am, uh, all I wanted to talk about tonight was the high school issues. That's what we had agreed at the last meeting, and this agenda was a surprise to us. I know you said that it was uh, something back in March or something. That would have been great to tell us at the end of the last meeting. That would have been simple communication. We would have all been on board. There would have been no surprises. So um, that's, I know that's not a yes or no that you wanted, but thank you. Madam Chair, I'd like to go on record saying you're being rude to members of the board. And to, to clarify, at the last meeting, we discussed creating a business meeting here. We discussed that it would be high school only issues. We discussed to get your agenda items in. None of those things were done. We did not discuss agenda items. Excuse me, I was talking. You can look at the video if you'd like. And all we're doing here is asking for clarification, and you're speaking to us rudely, you're slamming the gavel, and you're calling us out of order. And, and I, I object to that. Thank you. Well, I object <coughs> to being publicly bullied. So. Excuse me, Madam Chair, when did, that, when did that occur, Madam Chair? You just said you were publicly bullied. Um. Are you talking about me? Obviously. Madam Chair, are you accusing me of bullying? I'd like to know, because we're in a school and bullying is a very serious word. Is that your accusation? 